No shame in it, right? When we need a jolt, I do. most of us reach for a cup of coffee. But it turns out that boost of energy that we get when we do that can actually be very short-lived. Yeah, our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, is here right now to tell us a little bit more about this study. So we need more of a boost. Yeah, I need the study because this is a doctor who doesn't, uh, you know, is not a very good patient about this. So <laughs> the U.S. military is behind this. Researchers split their subjects into two groups and monitored their sleep, giving them five hours of sleep for five nights. So one group was given 200 milligrams of caffeine twice a day, and the other wasn't, and they put it to the the test. Initially, the group taking caffeine had better results, but after three nights of not getting enough sleep, their alertness and mental performance stopped improvement. So, so you can't really do this forever. Is what really? Or you don't is. get the benefit of it. Exactly. You can do it, you, know, you yeah, won't get any benefit. Right. Right. Talk about how much, ca how much caffeine it Average cup of coffee has so 95 milligrams of caffeine in an average in an average cup, right? But the participants took 200 milligrams twice a day, so there's a lot of caffeine in that study. Well, but a lot of people drink like four and, cups oh, of coffee, yeah. which exactly. is what that is, Exactly. If you go to some right? of these stores now, yeah. yeah uh, sure. Some people just don't like caffeine. They don't like how they feel. They don't like what they do. So, are there other ways to get energy boosts without the coffee or the tea? Absolutely. You know, we talked about this. One of the things is that take a brisk 10-minute walk. Increasing your physical activities boosts your energy. The blood flows in your brain can can last up to two hours or take a short nap. You know, Stephen and I believe in that, taking I short naps. Nap the thing. National <laughs> Sleep Foundation recommends 20 to 30 minutes, that's important, uh, naps to boost alertness. Also, eat a healthy breakfast. You'll have improved concentration and performance. Good options, I like your eggs, mm -hmm. salmon, uh, yogurt, uh, and oatmeal. So also avoid caffeine late in the day. A lot of people tell me this. Caffeine consumption, even six hours before bedtime, can really have a disruptive effect on your sleep, which can make you tired the next day. Yeah, wow. we're talking about sleep, and we did a story about sleep mm -hmm. a little bit earlier, but adults, we, we ideally need what? Seven you know, I, I, I need more than I get, seven to yeah. nine hours, but not enough, not enough of us are getting enough sleep, and, uh, and this can be associated with chronic diseases like diabetes, cardiovascular disease, obese, obesity, depression. So it's important to get seven to eight hours of sleep, and I've got to take my own advice. I'm not getting that. We yeah, all me do. Too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>